Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. Today we are just outside of Chicago and as a part of my last tournament winnings, I picked up a few discs that we're going to review. Today, it's going to be the Discmania Mindbender. Now the new Mindbender is essentially just Discmania's MD1, which you guys said is a phenomenal disc in their new Italian Blood C-Line with metal flake plastic in it. The rim itself honestly feels very similar. Oh no, I put that disc away. To a Mako 3. However, I recently reviewed the Mako 3 versus the Buzz and uh, I got a lot of comments on that review because a lot of you guys were saying that the Mako 3 versus the Buzz isn't quite right. And you're also saying that the Buzz SS, which I have one right here, is more comparable to the Mako 3 than the Buzz is. So we're gonna put the Buzz away, take out the Mako 3 because it feels almost identical. This is a little bit thinner on the rim. It doesn't feel as thick in your hand, but I mean these, yeah, whew, these feel so similar right here. And the Buzz SS feels a lot more similar, but is a lot more flat top. So we're gonna take these three discs out, play six holes, see how they all fly differently, even though it's pretty windy right now. Because you guys essentially all said in my comments of my Mako 3 versus Buzz video that this is the best mid range ever made, apparently. All right, so we made it out to the course here. Gotta take off the little price sticker so that I'm not being PDGA illegal. I'm thinking the Mako 3 is probably gonna be the most stable out of all of these because it does have some finish because the Mindbender's numbers are 5600, zero, zero, very similar to a 5500. Zero, zero. So if this doesn't go farther by at least 20% because it's one extra glide, I want a refund, Dismania, I want a refund. But here we are, 465 feet, hole 12, all the way down here, just straight, perfect little tunnel to start out with. I did warm up by filming another video. We're gonna throw the Mindbender first. Oh, you definitely can't see that that much. There you go. Interesting. That seems to just be very straight because the wind is pushing left to right. That probably accounts for most of that movement. I did throw it pretty flat. Buzz SS. Okay, that's definitely flippier. And not nearly as glidey. The Buzz SS isn't. That might have to do with the fact that it's not quite as domey. It's a little flatter like we talked about already. And I'll make 03. Oh. I definitely got, actually, did I get over on that more? It definitely wasn't as glidey, but Mindbender has the advantage so far on this par four. All right, either the Mako 3 is just a way worse disc or I put way more Anheuser on it than the other ones. I'll probably be able to figure out in the edit. I did think about though, on the way walking over here. What did I think about? Oh, that I wasn't throwing these as hard as I could have, because if I was going to do that, I'd probably Heiser flip them slightly instead of trying to throw them flat, especially with the wind like this. Could be a forehand, but I think we're just gonna try to do a straight backhand approach. Get there. Might be a little short, but should be inside the circle. It is fun to throw straight shots in disc golf, man. It's very fun. All right, made it to the Buzz SS. Simple shot in. Oh my gosh, dial it up, baby. All right, this is one of the interesting points of the challenge because this disc went the straightest. Just kind of lets the wind take it. And it seems to have some, not stability, like regular stability, not over stability. Right now, Udisc is saying that we are 310 feet-ish off the tee pad, which I would say makes sense. We got about 150 in. It's not a place where I like to throw mids. Go in the basket, maybe? Do these discs think that there's like a single file system that they have to abide by? Where Mako is thrown third, so it has to be the furthest. Buzz SS is thrown second, so it has to be in the middle. And then my Mender has to be the furthest. The closest, I guess. I don't get it. Nice little star frame. And now would be a good time to really take a look at the plastic. This is just the Z plastic, Z swirl maybe. It's slick. I don't like how slick that Z plastic is. This champion plastic is similarly slick, but a little bit grippier. But this Mindbender plastic is, it's like an upgraded champion. This new C-Line plastic, everything I felt in it, the Sky God, I felt FDs, DD3s, they all feel so nice. It feels like I want to throw it. Like it feels like my hand sinks into it and then it releases at a good point. Whereas these are like, they feel like I'm throwing something. Something about this new plastic. Is it marketing that they say it's Italian C-Line blend? Maybe, mm, maybe not. On the hole two. 276 feet, straight ahead of us there. This is a good time, honestly. Maybe to try them out on a forehand. It's definitely backhand disc, but I think it'll be interesting to see just how they handle a forehand. Let's go Mindbender. Yeah, it just feels better. Even just the, the rim right here, it just feels nicer to hold than the Mako 3. That's short. All right, maybe actually put some power into it. Just a suggestion. Buzz SS. Wow, that didn't flip up a lot. I thought that would flip up even more and turn over. Mako 3. Turn! Why are you not turning? Mako 3 went far, but I also actually decided to move my hips in a forehand. That was my new dance. None of those were good at all, really. So time to make a cool putt. Wow, that dropped it so much. All right, one of these discs can take the lead if I make a cool putt. Woo! 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah, mind bender taking the par. Let's see if we can make another one with the Mako 3. Can't do it twice, right? Let's freaking go, holy cow. That's awesome. Just from these throws, it's my favorite disc, but score's not showing it, and ball don't, score, ball don't lie. I wanted to mix ball don't lie and scoreboard, those two chants. Doesn't work. Ball and scoreboard, baby. All right, another super solid hole just for looking at how these discs throw. 320 feet, this has par four, so uh, maybe some eagles. Just dead ahead of us. Perfect for this type of disc, but it is like straight into a headwind. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's so flippy. Mako 3, I think we'll have more stability than that. Oh, that was gonna be so pretty. All right, my mender. Show us what you're made of. Wow. All right. I feel like it's the, if the Buzz SS and the Mako 3 had a baby and the baby had extra superpowers of glide, that'd be that disc. All right, Mako 3 again. Hey, this is a par four. We're gonna play like a par four because that sounds better for my ego. Fade in the basket. Oh, baby, that's so straight and good. Or throw it past the basket. Jesse, this is for you. <gasps> Just a bad shot. This is for the fake birdie. Stay up with the headwind, no! Also for the fake birdie. This is honestly a better shot than I thought it was. And another fake birdie. Ugh. Don't count the practice strokes, please. All right, this hole looks awesome. 283 feet, perfect hole for these straight flyers. We're gonna call this a triple mando. Mako three, just see how straight these are. That one does not have a lot of flip up. Very straight, there was a tailwind though. That's what you like to see. Drop and go in. No way. <laughs> I thought I aced it. And now Buzz SS. Barely made it. That's why I don't like that slick plastic. I made the Mando, but it just doesn't come out of my hand the same. And I don't like the shape of the rim as much. My Mando just feels the best so far, for sure. Big time, 100%. Mindbender, great shot. That's 100% parked. This might make my bag for a straight flying mid. I bag fuses, and I was gonna compare it to the fuse, but it's not as flippy as the fuse, but it's just like, it's its numbers, five, six, zero, zero. Doesn't have turn, doesn't have fade. The real reason that it faded here is because there was a tailwind, so it was pushing it to the left, and as it gets slower speed, it is going to fade eventually. But that's the main reason you had those weird little wind drops and such, so. Mako 3 is honestly shorter too, which makes sense, because it's a six glide for that one, and I threw these pretty much the same exact power. <sighs> Got it. I think Mako 3 is still up by one. Two holes left, but I think my assessment about them like having a baby and adding some glide as a superpower was right about the mind bender. All right, this shot is going to be awesome. Oh, get through, keep turning. Where'd it go? I have no idea where that disc is. All right, I'm picking those up. We're redoing this and just throwing straight. Oh yeah, get under it. Ah. That's tough, you gotta keep it so low. Nose down and put it on some hyzer. Yeah, oh no, too flippy. Good last tree. I'm gonna try to just go straight, straight, and hard. Keep turning. Ah, that's a tricky hole. This is a pretty good hole for being so short. All right, make a three. Long putt here again. Into the headwind. Oh my gosh, did I do it again? Oh, I thought I did. Drop. No, drop it, don't go OB. <laughs> oh, I was so lucky. Last one that's got a chance here. Oh, that was, that was the weirdest putt of my life. That felt awful. You guys can't blame the disc for that. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite disc and I'm losing by far. One hole left, I had to put a disc in my bag right now. Mind bender, 100%. I'm just trying to put like two to four of these out every week, so you should subscribe for that. Especially if I ace on this next hole, you gotta double subscribe. Don't hit it twice, but get a buddy to subscribe, because if you hit it twice, you're unsubscribing, and I need you to subscribe. Oh, also I have a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we can get it. 
Let's try. Sometimes the courses are just perfect because last hole, just a hyzer around this tree. Exactly what we need to test out. We do have some wind coming this way. I don't know if it'll be able to penetrate as far to the left as it could. Buzz SS. It's a great shot. That's such a good shot. A little flip up action. Mako three. A little less hyzer than I could have put on it. I thought it was more stable than it was. I think I do have to put a decent amount of hyzer because it will flip up and the wind is going to push it up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Let's go in the basket. Wasn't far enough. I'm a frog now, just like on the mind bender. Ready? Ready for this? Boom! I'm the mind bender. <laughs> That's going to take forever to edit if I actually do put it in the video. All right, let's finish this strong. All right, buzz assess. Oh, I should have missed like the buzz assess and make a couple times so that my bender wins. I think this is the first time that it didn't win the challenge, but it won my heart. And so that makes the mind bender by far the best out of these, in my opinion. And that's worth essentially nothing. So hope you liked it. If you are interested in the make a three versus buzz battle, a lot of interesting things happen in a really cool shot. Check it out right over here. Otherwise, subscribe and like the video. I don't think I've asked you enough times to do that yet. Bye.